Continuing to fill questions for you, Samili, I have a student from within our Telegram group asking, how long would you suggest we prepare for step one if our basics are not really that great? I've answered this question like 400 fucking times, okay? Uh, on my YouTube here, I've made uh, plenty of clips on my exam guidance playlist, but I don't carry the entitlement that people are going to go back through uh, in 2022, someone's videos. Uh, but I'll give you a very consolidated answer here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give a video a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical mehl man underscore medical links down below find me a telegram links to the telegram channel down below and i'll start the clip so students asking how to uh how long would it take to prepare for step one if her basics are not really that great look now that step one is pass fail uh what i want you doing is getting through all of you world okay there's a tetrad for the preparation for step one you're going to get through all of you world that's not debatable. That's not novel information or dramatic. Okay, you're going to finish all you world. I want you doing all of it. Even though step one's pass fail, yes, get through the whole fucking QBank. After you finish you world, you're going to go into offline and BMEs 20 and 21. We're going to see how you do on those. If you are getting under 60 ish percent correct, then I want you going back and doing all your you world incorrects. If you can break 60 to 65 percent plus i want you continuing through the offline nbmes 20 through 24 i want you doing free 120 and then you're going to go into the online nbmes 25 through 30 and you're going to set the real deal i said there's a tetrad though so you world is uh the first component all the nbmes second component the third component is i want you going through my free high yield pdfs especially high yield arrows that pdf is very fucking important okay uh, it rules in. It's highly specific for you passing step one. So if you know all the content, high yield arrows, you're going to do very well. I'll, I'll link it down below in the comments. And the fourth component is my audio cue bank here on the YouTube, which you can do casually. All right. So uh, I've made different playlists. Okay. So cardio, renal, palm, biochem, etc. So you can go by playlist, listen to it casually while you're at the gym, brushing your teeth, flossing. You can just have the phone right there on the counter and you knock out a clip. Okay. So that's your tetrad. You world, the NBMEs, my PDFs, the audio cue bank. That is going to get you through step one. In terms of your fucking question, though, how long is it going to take you? Look, I would say two to three months. Okay. I mean, it's a difficult question to answer because if you're starting from first year medicine, obviously you're going to have two years of prep while you're in med school. If you are talking about your post grad, let's say now you want to sit all the NBMEs. Uh, and you have, and you could do nothing but just study. I would say you're going to knock out U World 80 per day, and that could take you about a couple months. All right, and then you're going to go through all the NBME content, my PDFs, and you make, as I said, so two to three months. All right, it's going to differ for every student. It's more about getting you through the resources. That's what matters. You know the deal. To make more content, if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.